All right, so we're back. So when you get done cooking your brick, like under your mat and stuff, you're gonna pull it out like this right here. So it's gonna look like this right there. Flat, nice flat. Nice and flat, cooked tight. good, tight. So we got tin foil down. Usually when you're in there, you're gonna take a bag like this and you're gonna take the chips, crush them up. That, those will be your topping and you're gonna use the bag and you're gonna cut the bag open and fold it out. And that's your plate when you're in prison because you don't get plates. The only thing you can get is a bowl. So, and a lot, if you're doing a brick, that's usually not good because it's not going to fit in there. So Tommy, why don't you go ahead and tell them what you're going to be adding on the brick. Thank you. Um, I got some tuna creations, lemon pepper, which you can get on the package. Uh, quarterly, you know. They don't do fresh catch? They do fresh catch too, but you can get these on the packages. You got fresh catch in the in the in the oh, okay. canteen when you got these. Got so it always comes on, in a package. Though. You come this on a package, the online package. But I got some regular tuna, and I'm gonna mix this because it's lemon pepper. Hers is plain. Regular tuna, yeah. You get this thing. Mayonnaise also comes open. in little squeeze Here, packages. You can cut that. Yeah. Yeah, and they sell um, condiments on canteen. So when he adds the mayonnaise, you can get mayonnaise packets. You can get yellow mustard. Uh, ketchup. Relish, ketchup, soy sauce, right? Yeah, soy sauce. Um, there's some other peanut stuff. Peanut butter also comes in a squeeze. Oh man, that's that fire. Peanut butter uh, squeeze. Mm -hmm. Rip off though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Big rip 55 off. cents for like a, a bite. bite. <laughs> I eat, would wake up in the middle of the night and eat it as a snack, just the squeeze. Yeah. yeah. And not even go to the bathroom or nothing. Just <laughs> yeah. And leave it on the floor until the morning. <laughs> yeah. uh, so she's got the brick here. She cut the bag open. So we can start putting our toppings on. It sounds so like white when I said that. Country ass guy. Country oh, got that. So Tommy got his out. He's got the he's got everything ready to go. He's got the pickles right here. He's got his tuna with the mayonnaise in it, that exoticness right there. In prison when someone adds tuna, because this tuna packet in prison is like two, three fifty, I forget exactly what it is, but it's expensive. So when someone adds that into a brick, that's going to be like, ooh, you had that exoticness in there. Tommy's cutting it open. Andrea's already put her uh, mayonnaise over the top. No, tuna. Tuna, tuna. Tuna with mayonnaise over yes. the top. There we go. Just a little bit. You don't want too much. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. Just enough. And I know some people watching this are probably like, man, that shit looks disgusting. And I, and I said the same thing And if you too. don't like tuna, you don't have to add it. So I also want to mention too, like I'm sure some people looking at this food when we're making it are like, man, there's no way I would eat that shit. And all three of us have said that. We, you know, there's people when you go into county jail and trays come to the door and, and the person just came in and the trays come in, they don't eat. There's, they're like, I'm not eating that shit. There's no way. And they'll literally probably go like three or four days without eating, they'll just drink their juice or they'll eat their cookie off the tray and trade the rest away. Four more but, cookies. Yeah, but it, two, about a month, a couple weeks later, that same person's gonna get canteen and they're gonna stand up in the dorm when trays come in and they're gonna say, hey, I got a soup for that main. Because when you're in there, you get accustomed to what they feed you. And you don't have a choice. You gotta eat bullshit. Because if you don't, and your stomach's eating your backbone, you can't sleep, you're starving. Water burgers only work for so much. Uh, yeah, that's confinement food right there. Um, so it's, you're gonna adapt, you got to adapt. And I told myself when I left prison, there ain't no way I'm eating another one of these. But, you know, of course I have, shit changes, so. And today we're obviously gonna eat too, but the main thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have somebody that's never been to prison eat a brick for the first time and get the reaction. So that's coming up. Uh, we're just adding the toppings on right now and we're gonna get into it and, and start eating. So Tommy, what are you doing right there, man? Jalapeno cheese squeeze. Normally this is cactus ends. A little drizzle on top of that boy. Delicious. But we're gonna do that very last because I make it decorative, you know? It's kinda like you're making a cake. A little different. Flaming hot Cheetos going over that. Mm -hmm. I love flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah, I love so. I like to use a lot. You can use more, less, whatever you like. So is that how you made it when you were in prison? Yeah. 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 The girls are eating like that too, huh? Yep. It's hard to come out so thick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Hey. Some girls that though part. they don't. They eat just like strictly games. like tuna right and here. sausages and stuff like that. He's trying to give him some food. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gainsey boy. All right, so Tommy's adding on the pickles. 
And this is really just for extra flavor. Like if you got money in there, you're gonna be doing this. But most people that are balling on a budget aren't gonna be eating like this. So you don't eat like this every night either. This is like, you know, on the weekends or maybe a couple, three times a week. Or if it's a, a really bad night at the chow hall or whatever it is. It's yeah, really if gross. it's a uh, country patty, yeah. Salisbury patty, shit yeah. like that, you're not. You're not. She's got hers going. She's going to have the pickles on. Some people put the pickles inside, too. Like, inside the noodle part, too. Like, when you're doing the noodle part in the bag, some people will put the pickle in it. All right, Tom's going to add on that jalapeno cheese squeeze for you. Mm, those things huge. That's a big boy. Yeah, it is. Clumping it up. She might have should have spread it on the first layer. Yeah, maybe. I, I should have. But I thought it was going to be a finer spread. Yeah, so... To get like the cheese in prison, it's in like a squeezable bag, like a, you know, like a soft bag. You can put it in hot water and then it's really thin. Drizzle is like how you would. That drizzle. Yeah, make it not so hot. Like you could put that in here and it would probably thin it out if you put the bottle in that hot water. What's that pressure right there, boy? If you want, you can just put a little bit of this on top. This one's probably good enough. I don't want, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to put no more on there. On that. All right, so here we go. So this is my father-in-law, and I just want to say he's a regular eater at Bonefish, Carabas on the weekly. He does not eat bricks. He's never been in trouble, never been arrested. His name's Jimmy B. Jimmy B, say what's up, man. How you doing, guys? Good. How you doing? <laughs> hey, so we're going to have him taste a brick for the first time and get his reaction. All right, Jimmy, so I'm going to cut you up a little piece right here. I got to say, it looks good. <laughs> hey. All right, man, got you the plate. Let me get my banger off there. I don't want you to get nervous. Cracker. And usually we put it on a cracker, man. Just uh, so you just drop a little bit on that cracker and tell the cracker what you think. <laughs> so chew it up, taste it, and then you can just look into the camera and tell them what you think, man. I mean, it ain't calamari. No, it tastes good though. It's good, right? Yeah, really. All right. I wouldn't say that if it wasn't. So there you have it. Never what? been in prison, ate a brick for the first what? time, and said it's good. And I'm sure a lot of you, when you were watching us He's making it... He's going in for the second bite, y'all. <laughs> Just saying. Now, he's never been to jail, never ate jail food. Probably doesn't eat ramen noodles either. Um, so what, you think it's good? Very much. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just talking food in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't talk over people while they're eating, obviously, because shit spraying. You know, you could try all you want to to keep it back there, but it's not going to happen. Smacking, too, when you're at the table, like smacking, that's a no Please don't do that because I will not eat with you. Don't slurp your food. That's just disgusting. Yeah. And, um, but I can't do that. You know, there's manners at the yeah. table. That's the that's way my family great. brought me up. That's one of the main things that drove me crazy when I was locked up was being around people that don't have any like self coot about themselves. They don't have hygiene. They don't have manners. That shit used to drive me crazy. Respect the people around you, man. That's all. And in the chow hall, you can't talk. And I haven't heard anybody mention this, but when you're at a table, it's a four person table. And when you're done, you know, you're not allowed to talk in the chow hall. So what, what you do, what convicts do is when we get up off the table, we knock. And that's to show a sign of respect to people at the table because we can't talk. So uh, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I just want to throw that out there for you. Uh, but this is it, man. This is how you cook when you're locked up. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be dropping these videos. Um, I'm going to do some more on cooking, like with desserts and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy. Hope you like the video, man. Lesson free. DOC TV. And we're out.